Hello, and thank you for uh, watching the Weekend Box Office Report. I'm your host, Daniel Kay. Uh, this is the box office report for the weekend of September 7th through 9th. School's back in. People aren't going to movies so much. Um, also, I will add that the weather is uh, both hot and muggy here in Southern California. It's like living over a bowl of soup. All right, so uh, only one new movie on the uh, weekend chart this week, the top ten, and that would be The Words from CBS Films. I think it's a rom-com or it's a drama. I don't know. There are words involved. Uh, it made um, 4.7 million bucks over the weekend, which is not terrific for an opening, but uh, probably as good as you can expect for um, um, a drama with a vague title. <laughs> the number one movie was The Possession from Lionsgate, which only made 9.3 million. Also of note, um, 2016, Obama's America, the, um, the possibly right-wing biased documentary about um, how the Obama presidency will plunge the world into chaos and darkness. Um, and it came in at number nine and made uh, 3.3 million. And it's doing pretty well for a documentary, uh, having pulled down 26 million so far. So, okay. All right, so let's see what else is interesting. I wanted to point out, um, there it is. They're at number 49. Uh, this has been out for a week, but I wasn't aware of it until the, um, the people at Mental Floss used its release as an occasion to list nine other of the worst films ever made. Um, the Oogie Loves... Where are they? There we go. Oogie Loves in The Big Balloon Adventure. <laughs> Turned in $43 million, which is uh, very sad for a... Um, um, a CGI animated film, and um, that thing about uh, mental floss, they say any publicity is good publicity, that can't be. It just cannot be good publicity, I'm just saying. Um, so let us now go all the way down here, see what else is, what else is new in terms of um, nothing. Really, you know something? I just want to say right now, uh, there is nothing worth watching this um, this week. Stay home and uh, catch up on the summer movies that you missed that are now on Netflix or Hulu or Crackle or Amazon or Stolen. You know, whatever. Thank you very much for watching the weekend box office report. I'm your host, Daniel Kay. I'll be back next week.